Hello guys and welcome to this new video tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how you could fix the sound problem in Windows 10. So as you can see I have a little red uh, icon here on the sound showing like red X which means that the sound is not working. I have been facing this issue after upgrading. So what I'm going to do I'm going to go first to check in the search tab I will open device manager once opened, there we're going to check if the sound drivers are already installed. So it's this little window will load. You will need to go to the sound section. If it shows a yellow triangle, it means that the sound is not installed, the drivers for it. If it shows like me, it means that it's installed. However, we're going to try to update it. So to make an update, click with the right button of the mouse and select update drivers and then select search online. As you can see, Windows is telling me that the best drivers are installed, so I'm just going to close. And I will try with the second device, since I have two devices for sound. And as you can see, it says again, it's the best drivers are installed. If you are still doubting its driver issues, then you can download the driver directly from the company which made your computer's website, and you can install them. For next, I'm going to go to the settings and try to find out if there are anything specific there why it's not working. So we'll go just to system and on the system section, we're going to click on sound. It's the second icon on the left. And here, as you can see, sound, it shows no device connected, even though the devices uh, are integrated in my laptop and clicking troubleshoot might not solve, but when I click on manage devices, I have nothing. If it's the same case for you or whatever case, then we will fix this. So next we will go and type services and once service is loaded we're gonna press the W key on your keyboard to look for Windows Audio and we're going to enable as you can see here I have it as disabled so we need to enable the sound to be working so we'll just select automatic if you try to select automatic and delayed it will show you an error so better to select automatic and I will click apply and we're going to click OK. And we're going to go to Windows Audio Input and we're going to click on Enable also. As you can see on the second line, it shows also disabled for the audio. So I will click on it, select Automatic and click Apply and click Start. You will, need, you will wait a few seconds to, to start working and click OK. We'll go back to the Windows Audio and enable it back as we were not able to do that previously. Start and click OK. Now as you can see the little window has changed from red X to normal and the sound seems to be functional. However, if you are still facing any issues that the sound is not working after applying these solutions, go back to services, uh, to settings, sorry. We'll open again the settings, we'll go to system Select the second window on the left or the ic second icon on the left called sound and click troubleshoot. This, troublesh uh, this troubleshoot is an integrated solution from Windows. It will try to detect and apply multiple fix and try also to identify problems and it should reflect. Here since I have an external speakers pl plugged in, so I will select the computer one and we'll just go ahead and click next. If you have any other targeted device like which you would like to use an external one that just make sure to tick it or to select it. Now let's click on next. And we are waiting a few seconds until it works. Windows will try all the solution and tell you if you want to apply this fix. So uh, you need to go through re reading through the lines. Here I accept the fix which Windows want to apply. I will just check if everything looks fine. So as you can see, I have the grand icon, which means it has been fixed. I raised the sound. Everything seems OK for me. And I have about four gigahertz on, on the sound test, so it should be fine. I should be able to hear music and everything properly. I will just click OK to close it. And we can go ahead and click on showing more details if you want to see what is the problem or you can just click close. So if you would like to see more details in case that you, the problem was not resolved, you will be able to see what is exactly not working. It will show you that if there is a driver missing or if there is a device not plugged or unrecognized 
or something like that. Once you have read through it, you can look for online to fix that issue, specific issue, and you can just click close and go next. Thank you guys for watching. If you are still facing problems with your audio, just send us an email or leave us a comment and we'll do our best to help you. And if you have any error code, please add it to the, uh, to the comments so that we can help you. Thank you for watching and talk to you soon in a new video tutorial.